Today, Gammy's going to read you a story called The Berenstein Bears and the Messy Room. From the outside, the bear's tree house, which stood beside a sunny dirt road deep in bear country, it looked very neat and well kept. The flower bed sparkled with red, yellow, and blue tulips. The flower beds were so amazing. The woodwork was freshly painted and always in good repair. The grass was cut, the vegetable patch was properly weeded. Even the bird's nest was perched on the tree house branches and was very well maintained. That's a nice looking house. The inside of the bear's tree house was neat and clean too. The pictures were straight, the piano was dusted, the kitchen was spick and span. Even the basement was neat and clean. And if you think it's easy to keep a treehouse basement neat and clean, well, you've never tried to do it. See, mama bear's down in the basement. Yes, the bear's tree house was neat and clean, except for one place. Brother Bear and Sister Bear's room were a mess. Look at that, toys everywhere. They didn't make their bed or put their clothes away. And dust, wall to wall. It was a helter-skelter mess. A half dozen jigsaw puzzles gathered in dust in one corner of the room. A group of brothers' dinosaur models collected cobwebs in another part. Sister stuffed animals were everywhere. As for the cub's big storage closet, well, you just be careful to open it because when you open the door, everything falls out. It wasn't that brother and sister were naturally messy. They tried to keep their room clean. They made their beds most of the time. And they swept and they picked up once in a while. The trouble was that when cleanup time came, they spent more time arguing about anything than cleaning. How am I supposed to split, sweep with your dinosaurs on the floor, argued sister. They're not toys, they're models. And don't move them. I'm working to set up a a dinosaur exhibit, brother protested. Peesh posh, shouted sister. Not only were brother and sister's room a mess, but brother and sister were getting to be a mess too, always arguing about chores rather than sharing it and working as a team. What usually happened while the cubs argued about whose turn it was, mama took the broom and did the sweeping herself and she was picking up their toys and putting them away. See, mama's doing all the work. That's not fair to mama. Well, the mess just seemed to build up and build up until one day, maybe it was because mama's back was a little stiff and maybe it was her stepping on airplanes and whatnot, and maybe she just felt fed up with the messy room. Mama Bear, lost her temper. She got upset. She stormed into the room with a big box. Uh-oh, I think I know what's gonna happen. The first thing we have to do is get rid of all this junk. Junk, said brother and sister, watching in horror as mama threw things in the box. My teddy isn't junk, screamed sister. My bird's nest collection isn't junk, yelled brother at the top of his lungs. Mama's throwing everything in there. The loud screaming and yelling got so loud, it reached Papa who was out in the workshop, finishing touches on a batch of chairs that were ordered from one of his customers. He couldn't imagine what was wrong. He hurried up the stairs and looked into the messy, noisy room. And it didn't take a deep thinker to figure out what was going on. Quiet, he yelled. Papa got Mama and the Cubs' attention and called a family meeting right then and there. Now, the mess has really built up in this room, he said. In fact, it's the worst buildup I've ever seen. 
And it isn't fair. It isn't fair to your mama or me because we have a lot of other things to take care of. And it isn't fair to you because you really should, really can't have fun or relax in a room that's such a terrible mess. Papa's talking to him. Mama's still up there back in the back a little upset. But Mama is putting all our things in the box. Even my teddy, said sister. And my things too, cried brother. Then Papa got an idea. A box, yes. Better yet, a lot of different kinds of boxes. A big toy box for your large toys. I can make one of that, one of those in my shop. And maybe some smaller boxes for collections and models. And how about one of those boards with holes and pegs to hang things, said sister. A peg board, said Papa, that's a great idea. All the things you need for just a little bit of organization. A little organization and a few rules, added Mama. Rules about more sweeping and less arguing and not leaving things to gather dust and cobwebs. Papa set out to work, in, work on building a box. See, he's building a box and the pegboard. While the cubs and mama sorted out toys, books, games, puzzles, and then put them in the boxes neatly in the closet, everything had a label. Some of the cubs' things ended up in mama's big throwaway box. Not sister's teddy, of course, and not, but some of brother's nests that were crumbling and falling apart. It was a very big job cleaning up the messy buildup. But after a lot of straightening up and putting things away, the job was finally finished. Wow, said brother, that was quite a job, but it was worth it. It looks like a whole new room, said sister, and the cubs were right. Look at that, their room is so nice and clean and organized. And Papa had been right too. It was so much more enjoyable to live in a clean, well-organized room and so much more relaxing. It wasn't as exciting to open a big box, big box storage in the closet, but it was a lot more practical and a lot more fun. Oh, Gammy loves that closet. Look how organized it is. The end. That was a book about a messy bedroom. We don't like messy bedrooms, so we got to make sure we clean up our toys when we're done playing. I love you. Bye-bye.